second. Hey everybody, welcome. In this video, we're gonna look at how you can create this dots game that I have on the screen for you in a Jamboard. If you're unfamiliar with what this game is, basically you get two students to play with each other. They can do this uh, remotely or in person if you wanted to. You could print it off if you had to. Uh, but what they'll do is pick a pen and then maybe choose a different color for each person. So maybe one's red, per another person's green. And one person goes and they just draw a line from one box to the next. The next person goes with their green pen and they draw a line anywhere. It doesn't really matter where they draw it. But what happens is eventually uh, they'll have to close off the, a box. And once they the person that closed off the box gets a point for closing off that box. And then how I play it is you get an additional point if you do the task that I want you to do within that box. So right now we're learning the preterite in Spanish of the verbs ir, ser, and also a bunch of vocab related to morning routine stuff. So the ones that have the verbs in them, they would have to then conjugate that verb in the preterite. So the old form of ir in the preterite is fui. So if the person with the green pen uh, completed that box, they get one point, they get fui, correct? They get two points. And then for the vocab ones, it's kind of the same. They just, whoever com completes the box gets one point. And then um, they also, if they know the, the word, like for to get up is levant, uh, or to wake up is despertarse, then they would get an, an additional point and they could keep track of their points on the board. And then whoever has the most points at the end wins the game. So if you're interested in taking this Jamboard with you, I'll put it in the description of the video. I'll also show you how I made it and give you another document as well that you might want to use. So the first thing I did was I went to Google Drawings and I made this game board. Uh, I made the background blue. You can change the color, obviously, if you wanted to. I'll give you access to this document in, in the description of the video. So if you wanted to just super quickly change it to a different color or just make it white, you could do that. And then the dots, I just grabbed the little circle button right here, made one circle, made it black, and then I just copy and pasted it and then filled the whole thing in like that. And then what I did is I made a copy of this because I want to keep this dots game blank sheet for in the future if I make another one. So I went over here, and then on this one, I filled in a bunch of text boxes with the various conjugations I want. And then for the pictures, what I did is I actually went over to the current Quizlet set that we have, the kids are studying, and I just copy and pasted those pictures from Quizlet directly onto here. So they've seen those pictures before. Uh, it's super easy to do. Let me show you really quick. We'll jump onto Quizlet. Uh, this is our current vocab set. So all I did was uh, I scroll down and then you can just right click the picture, copy image, and then go back over to the, your game and then paste it and then it'll pop up on here and you can resize it, move it around if you need to. And then when you're done with that, what you're gonna do is go to File, uh, Download, JPEG. And the reason we're doing this is because we're gonna set this picture as the background of our Jamboard so that stuff can't be moved around. So now I've saved that as a picture, so I'm gonna go to click the Set Background button right here, click this bottom right button that says Image. I'll browse for that file. I'll find it wherever it saves it on my computer, which is right here for me. I'll click Open and then it will come out as the background of my Jamboard. My last step will be to get this to my students so they can play the game. Maybe put some directions on there uh, beforehand if you wanna have them on there. Uh, but to do that, what you're gonna to wanna to do is up here on the top right, I'm gonna click that share button, click change, and I'm gonna make it so that anyone with the link can view, and then come back here to the Jamboard up here in the URL bar where it says viewer, I'm gonna change that to copy and then I'm gonna give that link to my students. And then when they click it, it'll open up, it'll prompt them to make a copy of this Jamboard and they all have their own Jamboard and they can play with each other and uh, hopefully enjoy themselves a little bit. If you have questions, let me know. Again, check the description for the free resources that I've, I've uh, given to you and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe for some more videos. Hasta luego.